Carl, the Lakers started to pull away in the fourth, but you guys came right back. And this was a five point game with three minutes to go. But just the depth and the talent of this team, how tough was it to try to hold them down for those final three minutes? Like good team basketball. Um, I'm looking at the numbers. We, we did a great job each quarter of uh, playing defense. Uh, obviously, the first we gave up the most, but um, not too far from where we want. Um, you know, they just uh, they, they made baskets when they had to make baskets, and um, the uh, it was a, it was a good game. It was a good game. I think we both fought. We played hard. Uh, just uh, didn't come out the win. Anthony Edwards had a really aggressive style tonight, a good efficient style tonight. Do you see him almost taking leaps by the the night, by the game? Yeah, absolutely. He's playing at a he's playing at a great level, and uh, we're, we're trying to build confidence in him, let him know that we believe in him, and uh, we'll be there with him every step of the way, and um, just trying to guide him, guide him in the right direction. Um, you know, he, it was a good game. It was a good game for him. He shot. He shot. Uh, he shot with high efficiency. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it just one of those games. You know, you just play hard. Both teams played hard, and um, we just didn't uh, make enough shots. John, hey Carl, how how much uh, how many how many strides are you make are you making as a group defensively? Do you think game to game here over the last week or so? Uh, better than being beaten by 30 and 20 and all those blowouts. But um, so that's the answer to the question. But I mean, if we looked at the stats for tonight, even 30 points in the first, 27 in the second, 29 in the third, 26 in the fourth. I mean, defensively, that's a that's a great uh, defensive effort every quarter to uh, keep them around what we uh, would like them to score every every quarter. So we did a great job of, of holding them to our number and um, doing what we need to do. I think that really what happened is if you look at the game uh, stats, you know, it's just the fourth quarter. We just didn't make enough shots when we needed to. Uh, they made shots, found a way to get 26 points in the quarter and we found only a way to get 20. So uh, we just didn't make enough shots. We didn't make enough plays. Um, that happens in the game of basketball. I know you'd never really look for your shot or talk about that, but to go without a shot in the entire fourth quarter, I mean, how, how frustrating is that? Or how did you see the things unfold that led to you not being able to, to, to get any shots up there? I mean, like you said, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to do what I can for this team and, and do whatever the role is needed for me to do to, for us to come out with a win. But, um, you know, obviously in the fourth quarter, um, I would have liked to, you know, get, get some, you know, get a touch and try to help our team offensively. Um, but um, just wasn't called for me. Uh, you know, Ant was having it going, so I just tried to do my best uh, to, uh, you know, space the floor for them guys, uh, get them guys open, and uh, play defense as best as possible. But uh, you know, of course, fourth quarter is different than all the rest of the quarters. Um, you know, there's a reason uh, I'm paid to what what I'm paid. I got to go out there in the fourth quarter and try to help us win. Um, it just wasn't uh, the third and the fourth. That just wasn't asking me to uh, shoot the ball. It was more than facilitating and get everyone open and Ant obviously played tremendously well in the third and fourth. He was ultra aggressive as Marnie said and uh shot high efficiency. So um you know he, he he made a great turn. The fact that he took the shots he did, I give him a lot of credit and he hit some great shots as well. So and is making uh you know he's making strides to being the player that we all uh imagine him being and uh you know just gotta keep uh, being with him throughout all these steps and, and try to lead him in the right direction every time and don't let him waver. Chris, go ahead. Well, is that just kind of the learning process of not having played a lot with these guys, just trying to figure out how you all mesh together in a, in a close game like this, especially when, when Anthony is going like he was tonight? Um. I mean, yeah, I, I think, you know, I think at the end of the day, it comes down to us not hitting enough shots. So I'm looking at the stat sheet still again. And, you know, 42 for 77, the, Wolf, the Lakers were, excuse me, at 55 percent, roughly. Uh, we shot 15 more shots than them. And, and we have, you know, less percentage, obviously, making 42.4. But, you know, we just we just didn't hit the shots we needed to. Um, we didn't hit enough. You know, making up baskets when we needed to, and uh, you know, it, it it cost us, it cost us, but 
Um, I think that we have a, a lot a lot of good film on us to look at today. Uh, great defensive clips as well. And obviously some some things that we need to clean up as well. And uh, we'll get to that tomorrow for the pace. Uh, D'Angelo is going to be out here for the next four to six weeks or so. Um, you guys have only played five games together uh, since the trade last year. I'm just wondering, how anxious are you to, to see what you guys have uh, together? Uh, I mean, obviously, we, we want to play with each other. We've ex uh, expressed to each other how much uh, playing with each other means to us. And we just, you know, it just the cards haven't been dealt well for us recently. And uh, when I finally come back, and he, he's now he's out. So, um, you know, he was emotional, too, um, because it's been bothering him wanting to play together. And, you know, obviously, like he said, only five games. That's not enough. We that's not enough of a sample for us. We want to play every game possible with each other, and just it's just unfair that we uh we keep having step backs every single time when it's about to be the time for us to play with each other. We always have a step back somewhere. Uh, last question to Jace. Jace, go ahead. Uh, what's the biggest thing you've learned thus far in your career about playing against LeBron? Just be patient. Be disciplined. LeBron's very good at like he's very knowledgeable of the game and he tests your discipline. So just being disciplined on him and um, doing following the game plan uh, defensively and also um, the minute details. You know the little details they matter against him. So um, just staying disciplined. And you know one of those things he 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 drives to the basket, brings a lot of uh, pressure on our defense and throughout my career. And a lot of teams as well. And he makes the right play, hits the corner, makes the pass. Uh, so uh, just being disciplined defensively and, uh, you know, sticking to your principles.